Game's about to change, players. <laughs> Gentechi was spoiled. The new identity, Harmony MedTech. Break it down for us. Oh my god, I love MedTech. So we got a 40, uh, 40 12. So we got a lower, uh, a lower card count. Um, and the ability says each player needs one fewer agenda point to win the game. So you only need six agendas to win. Uh, I'm just gonna go right off the bat. You only need three pointers in this deck and you only need six of them. Right? Yeah. That's ri ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, the only thing we don't know is what Jinteki's five for three is, but I mean like, oh my god. We're talking about a new level of speed that is going to be unheard of with this deck. And, I mean, and trap springiness. <laughs> God, there's so many more traps Every, now. Oh, it's so good. All of Jinteki's strengths are just escalated with this card. Every trap becomes, you know, triple deadliness. Um, every asset, every bluff is it, just accelerated on this because the tempo of this game is going to be so quick. Yeah. Anybody who plays this game knows that the that the that the the traps and the mind games and the real, real pressure of the game happens when you reach the match point. Yeah. Anybody who doesn't know what a match point is, it's that turn where as the runner, you know or you have the assumption that the corp can win next turn. turn. So for whatever reason, maybe they have maybe they have five points and they installed and double and double advanced. There is a potential, very strong potential, that you could lose next turn. That's right. If you let if them you, score if you that. don't run on it, yeah. So you have to make I mean, we're gonna we're gonna use the term run, but obviously there's there's mitigating factors in this. But you have to run and see that card and make sure that they're not gonna win. So with the match points, a general match point for most people is five, right? Uh, I mean, it, six could be just as easy to get to, but you need at least five points to reach match point. You know what I mean? Um, I guess you could do four too if you if you if you're running a lot of three point agendas, yeah. right? So the minimum match point to this. For this game is is four agendas, which if we break it down into any other faction, you need two agendas, right? Yeah, we gotta two. score two. You have to have two agendas on your field before you reach match point. Not this deck, one agenda, one agenda, and they're at match point. Yep. And then that makes June bugs, cerebral over overriders. It just makes them mind blown. Well, even anything that you can, like you put. An agenda and an asset down, right? Like it has to be an advance, advance, because no, I mean well, you can't, you can't, like you. You can ruin it even too. Yeah. Feign, feign the trap, right? Oh, you will. You have to. No, I, 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 know, I know, I know, I know. So dirty. I think anything in a in a remote becomes possibility, right? I think the I think I think you're right, but I um I think that that becomes a possibility in decks that are actually running three for twos. Um, that's a solid way to play this deck, and don't get me wrong. I think that I think that. People will feel more comfortable running, running two-point agendas because what it does is, Genteki wants to run two-point agendas anyway. Mm -hmm. It's because they're kind of tailored to, to play like that. But what this does for Genteki is it makes us be able to win just like an NBN player. You know, we only need three agendas just like an NBN player. Um, you know, Whalen has the ability to get to to get to three agendas really fast. So does Haas Byroid, and, and the only one that can't do that really easy. Is Genteki, Genteki, right? So if you want to play, you know, I mean, a great playset would be uh, th three feet of AIs. Nisi's are still incredibly strong, and and three um, uh, brain trusts. That's a that is a solid solid build. Um, you could even substitute Nisi for um, the the medical advancement one that's coming out too in the same pack. Uh, an advancement for four. It, um, it's worth two points, but for everyone on the field, your side and the runner side, it costs one less to score. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now you have brain trust, you have this, so you potentially have six agendas in there. Well, you technically have, have five agendas that score for three points. You know what I mean? And not to mention with the medical uh, breakthrough, it really plays into your suit of just playing and advancing. What downside is they score it. Next one you play advances for less. It's like mind blowing. Yeah. What's um? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just yammering on. I, I'm a little <laughs> excited. I'm a little excited. What's your thoughts on the on the card caps? Like we have a a forty twelve, right? Was it? Yeah. Yep. Forty twelve. Forty twelve. 
Are you concerned with with running a slim? No. Down Jinteki? No, because if, if if you're doing this the way that I think that it's going to happen a lot is you're going to have six agenda cards in the deck as opposed to the eleven or twelve that's normally played. There's your savings right there. What about okay. the influence though? Um, shouldn't hurt too bad because again with a with a deck that's thinned down that much you tend to not really need as many moving parts. So you can leave out a lot of the stuff that you'd normally have to splash for in order to pull off your, you know, four scores to win the game kind of thing. This one, you the just one that got I've been, score two. The one my, I've been mocking up in my head, uh, I think a Cerebral Override is a, is a, is a necessary yeah, I, card. Yeah, that would be one I'd put That costs for, for two. Sure. And Fenris is a very early century end run. Um, that costs two influence. So there's your, there's your 12 right or, there. Do you three try and, and build this into... A style of NBN that we're seeing, like, would you put a sand sand in here to try and uh, to um, cut those down? My immediate, my immediate um, two decks that I'm working on in my head, and I'm trying to justify which I'll be playing because I'll definitely be be playing Harmony Med deck. Um, but there's the one that focuses on um, having all three point agendas, so six three point agendas, and less snare type cards. You know what I mean? So it's less. R&D lock or R&D traps and more advancement style June bugs and and Ronins and stuff like that. And then the caveat to that would be the the or the or the whatever the next deck would be running the two the two point agenda so you only need the three but just titting it out with all of the the HQ tra uh, all of the uh, R and D traps. So I'm talking three snares. You're already running two point agendas. You have three fetal AIs because the original build that I talked about doesn't have fetal AIs, yeah. which is a scary scary thought for for a seasoned uh, Gentechi player. And then yeah, you basically are going to be running, uh, and then shocks is coming out, and then who knows what else they're going to be doing. How how do you feel about as a runner, seeing a card like this? Like, are you are you more worried scoring six points than seven? Like, mm -hmm. it, it seems to be that weird Genteki mind game yeah. in there. That so a couple of things that are going to come with this. Um, exposing will be a huge downside to playing a deck like that. So Zaipatsu loyalties are probably going to be in these decks. Necessary. necessary. Yeah, it'll be a necessary evil. So that's going to prevent the the infiltration. It's going to prevent the sneak and peeks. The problem then lies with like how could you possibly run a remote how you know like you, you are so unsure and you know for a fact that there's so few agenda cards in the deck like what are the odds that that is an agenda versus what are the odds that that's a trap well chances are it's a trap there's more traps in the deck than there are agendas right <laughs> so if, yes. if you, <laughs> what you're probably hey, going to have to do is if you are not going to be including uh, snares like that the snares are going to be like the 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 least of your worries now so the r and d deep diving lock will be the only thing i think that will counter this kind of deck and even then putting building your ice correctly you're going to make that very difficult for the runner to do and yeah. and very punishing if they don't do it correctly so that's going to be the only downside and then like you know like the indexings and the the maker's eyes and just getting lucky and snagging two games over so you know when, this, I mean? but, when, when this when this the, the, when this identity comes out, it's also going to be complemented with the criminal silhouette, who is going to be the majority of the expose. So, are, are, are we going to see a trade off? Do you think there's going to be a big enough shift? Well, we'll Two expose cards we're that are going to down criminal, though, right? Are I think I think expose. I think I th and I I'm so stoked to see the black card deck. I'm so stoked to see silhouette decks and just, uh, but I mean. I I haven't taken out my three Zabatsu loyalties. I haven't yeah. had a card be exposed in like almost a year. Right, I think right, like yeah. I, I but I'm never taking them out just because that is such a strong possibility. And especially in the in the deck that I'm more leaning towards, which is the six three point yeah. agendas. Especially in that deck, if you don't have Zabatsu, yeah. you might as well concede. Plus, it's so another thing for you too, because especially in your in your Gen Techy decks, I mean, Zabatsu is just a fire and forget. You throw it down, even if you don't need, even if they have no exposed cards, they're still probably going to run it, waste a turn yeah. on it. You know what I mean? I love that. Yeah, why not? So, is this the agenda that Gen Techy has been waiting for then? Because it seems like it makes everything they have pop. I think that this is the agenda 
that everybody should have been waiting for. Identity, mm -hmm. yeah. or the identity, yeah. yeah. You guys been throwing that agenda word around a lot. <laughs> I think no. I think that this is. I'm calling it right now. I think that this is probably the strongest identity built today. So you're not you're not worried about uh, a runner coming at you who also needs six points. Guns are blazing. <laughs> like like what's your I, uh, what's your what's your opinion running again like running against this? I have no problem losing games. You know what I mean? Uh, we've been through the the Spike and Johnny thing. <laughs> Dude, whatever. <laughs> I know. He's I, got so much I don't practice come at it. Yeah. I don't know. And I'm not saying I lose a lot. I don't. And I'm not saying I win a lot. I like, I like winning a game with something that I've built and that I feel like I had to play. That's why I love yeah. Gentechi. I feel like it's not the cards. I mean, the cards are good. Like Junebug is an amazing card, but it takes the player. Yeah. Right. It takes a good player. Snare doesn't really take a good player, and that's why it fits so easy in everybody else's deck because it just sits in the R and D and it works in in, in you know. It, but good but point. June bugs and and those cards they take a lot of of style yeah. and a lot of play. And when I get a June bug kill, it makes up for the three losses that I've had. You know what I mean? Due to luck, right? Yeah. But I think that this takes the luck out of Gen Techie. Yeah, you're going to have a bad game, and they're going to make two runs on R&D, and you're going to lose quick. But you want to know what? Play a methodical runner deck, and now you'll have fun. You won't have to worry about, about oh my, I mean, I mean it's, it's in the back of every Gen Techie player's head. You know, I really need to rush this game, because I'm playing Replicating Perfection, and that's going to take up 45 minutes of my game. So I need to run aggressively, and I need to win fast. With this, it's switched! Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna play your 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 Harmony Med Tech deck in ten minutes. Yeah. You're gonna win in ten minutes or you're gonna lose in ten minutes. And the games are always gonna be great. Yeah, they'll be really fun. <laughs> be a lot of fun. I think that I think it comes back to the match point and 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 there was a great article on Reddit and uh, we might post a link to it, but um, I think that that's like that has to be such a strong idea in the back of every court player's head. How do I get to match point as soon as possible? Because, you know, if, if I lay a June bug, um, if I lay a June bug and I need seven advancements, right now there's no, f there's, there's no four, four point agenda, right? Yeah. So until that happens, everybody needs three agendas. So if, if I lay a June bug first turn and advance it, the runner could ignore that. Because there's no, there's so, no, there's no real downside to yeah, letting it be. I don't mind people scoring one agenda because then it makes it to, it makes it fair, right? Mm -hmm. But in the Harmony Med Tech, if I know all you need is one agenda point, that scares me, yeah. right? So is this? Do you feel that this card is going to bring the balance that Gentechi needs? Then, from your opinion, like a lot of people right now are, their opinion on Gentechi is that Gentechi wins because of runner mistakes. Yeah. Right. So I mean, the the scales of Jinteki go either you're very pro Jinteki, or you are you know ah oh, Jinteki is all a roll of the dice. I, anybody can win against yeah. them. Right, right. Do you think that this agenda adds the balance to it? But like you said, right, like two runs and the game could be over. Yeah. So. I think I really do think that it does bring it back because anybody who's been diehard Jinteki this entire time is very good at playing Gentechi. Hopefully they are. I mean, if not, then they probably should have gave up on it a while ago. But um, what's uh, what's not said a lot is we joke around a lot about games kind of thing. The only reason that I am able to beat his Gentechi is because I know how to play him, right? Yeah. When you take your decks to any tournaments out here, how often does that deck win? No, it wins a lot. A lot, because people don't know how to read him. And if you can't do that, you can't win, right? And I would be... So, I would be I don't know, I don't know, it, it might sound conceited, but I think I lose more due to lucky runners than I win, like, I don't win because I'm lucky. You know what, I don't get lucky wins. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get, there might be an unlucky runner, but my wins, I earn. Yeah. I earn every one of my wins. So when you take that kind of player and you pair it with this new identity, what you're going to see is, yeah, you're going to see a little bit more balance. You're going to see the guys who are basically they people 
can read them if, if like so if you were to take this deck and uh, like any uh, when we play I, I can read you pretty good yeah. but it's kind of not going to matter anymore yeah. you know what i mean like so it, it's not as if I, I won't be able to just kind of walk through the game mm. as, as i normally do just methodically i can't anymore no. and so anybody who is good at playing genteki will be able to take this deck and and with with even half decent first hand draw is going to be able to dominate pretty early on Right, if you can, and the thing is, then if you're a good player and they don't know you, I mean, they almost don't have a hope in in hell. You know what I mean? Like, because you're just down, and then the two advancement tokens and a couple ice and go, and they boom, hit a trap dead. And you know we're not, I mean? we're not even like considering a couple of the other cards that are coming out in here. And yeah, I just want to let's say quickly that um, it, this style, right now, from what we've seen, is it. Foolish to run anything but the three points with this is 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 all three point agendas the way to go with this deck? We it's don't know. it's got to be comfortable because I'm telling you right now I have a med tech built like a, a deck built because I, I'm pretty sure that in the comment section there's going to be the few people that still say an R and D lock is going to kill Jinteki is going to be the you know, uh, the bane of this existence of a highly of this successful deck. one will. But that's the thing. Remember, there's only going to be six cards of agenda in this deck. So they could go deep diving and come up empty quite often. Because you know that, I mean? that three point, the, the all three points will have very little R&D traps. You just can't fit it. You can't because you need advanceable traps in order to score. Yeah. Like scoring, scoring these these five pointers are going to be ridiculous. Yeah. But if, and if that's that's why I think it's leaving the R and D very open, very vulnerable. Well, if they but if they're forced to run the R and D, then that's where your ice goes, right? If yeah. running on your hand does nothing for them and they know it, they're not going to do it. Because you, you're already at slim, right? You already yeah. got the. You're already forty. I don't but it lets us focalize our eyes, yeah, so right? If you're able to just put them over your remote server and your R and D, yeah, I'm just trying to be devil's advocate. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fair, and they're all um, and they're all honest questions. Because go ahead, give me my hand, right? When I think I've changed, I've bounced runners the most, and when I or see an agenda that has these lower card counts, you know, uh, and the NBN Chaos Theory. I do not, I think it loses it if you go over the card counts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. defeats you gotta the keep purpose. It right, so I always play, play. if it's a 40 card, I'm, I'm 40 cards. Um, I know there's a few people that like to play, um, you, you know, the NBN one just under, you know, so they're, they're not making that next agenda threshold. So they'll play like 43 or, or whatnot, right? Um, but I don't see it with this, with this one. I really think you need to run 40, but... You're gonna have to come up with a way to protect your R and D very. I couldn't. Heavily. I couldn't figure out how to make it a forty card deck when I was building it. But the card, the new, the new cards aren't coming out. I was just building it with the old cards just to kind of have fun and and I mean spark this conversation because this was a video that I was very excited Remember to make. Remember too, if these games aren't going to go on for very long, you don't need very big ice in it. Mm. Yeah, because they're just they won't have the the game won't go on long enough for them to be able to build up enough rig for you to have to worry about. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Kamatsu so, Baku, Fenris, and Neural Katana. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you know what I mean. Another card that I want to quickly go on. We don't want to. We don't want to drag a video on. But uh, Mission No Sin is uh, it advances for or it's uh, an operation for zero and it's a double uh, double operation and you get to install an asset agenda or upgrade from HQ into a new remote server and place three advancement tokens on that card. The only the only thing is you can't score that card. This that that turn. That turn. Yeah. This is an insane. Yeah. Like not only does that give you seven clicks worth mm -hmm. of things for two. So let's just that's just blowing my mind. But first turn, you could play this card and put in a put a put a nice down. Yep. Yeah, because you're gonna And you have five dollars. You're gonna have to <laughs> I think you're gonna really have to think of a way to escalate Jinteki into a fast advance with this. Like to me, I don't think that you're gonna want to be playing around and and hoping people bait your traps. No, and you want to just bomb this stuff. You know, you're you're not you're not looking to flatline anybody in this build. You're looking to score two threes as quickly and most efficiently as possible. So this is not a a mess around with all the other Jinteki hoopla. You're just using that there to aid you in quickly scoring. Mm -hmm. Six yeah. points and getting. And let's say, for instance, I, I I mission no sin out 
the trap. And you have your you have your expose card, and you expose it, and you realize that it's a trap, and you don't run it. The the thing about it is now I have a card with three advancement tokens on it. All lights. I need is one more advancement on it to be able to score something out of hand yeah. with two trickle lights. Yeah. And how often will I see those trickle lights in a forty card deck? Pretty, Pretty awesome. friggin' often. Yeah. So, yep. what do you think? Final thoughts? Yeah. Final thoughts, dynamite. Game changer? Game changer. Game changer for, at least for gen techie players. I mean, for runners, they're just going to need to try and find a way to R&D as hard as you possibly can. <laughs> yeah. Because that's like your only hope. <laughs> and after that, you're done. What you about know? the competitiveness of this? Is this going to oh, be highly competitive? Is this going to be a, a um, an identity that you could run confidently in a tournament? Yes, setting? it'll be a tournament favorite for the reason you touched on before because the games will be quick. So if you can rifle off quick games uh, with your corp and then move to your runner of choice, I mean you'll be pretty good. Especially if you're if you're if you're really focused on your runner and you've got a really high percent uh, win chance with your runner, and if you got like a, even just a 50-50 with your corp, you're still going to come out. Doing really, really well. That's generally how I play in tournaments, and I place I place relatively high. I don't. I, I mean, I came in second at our at our regionals, and and I've came in second in a couple tournaments now, or placed in a couple tournaments now. And my gym techie doesn't win all the time, but having a strong runner definitely helps. Yeah. But I think that between my my running skills, because I'm a better runner than I am a court, but between my runner skills and just getting this like. It's just somebody in my back corner giving me yeah. a, a massage now while, while I'm yeah. playing. I'm just going to be so confident. Oh. Does this, um, like you've never, you started as a Jinteki player yeah. and then kind of moved away from it. And, yeah. and you've bounced back here and there when, when you need to try out new things in Jinteki. And he's always helped us build our does, Jinteki decks. Does this, <laughs> does this card or does this identity rank as your top one over the other one? Are you, like I know with Cronus we talked about. The, yeah, the, this the switcheroo out of the two that are out now, right? Replicating perfection and um, personal, evolution. personal evolution. Are you taking Harmony MedTech over those two? Yes, yes, strong yes. Yeah. So, so I best, feel that my play style would really benefit. Best, from. I might even make the switch. Best Gentechi identity yeah. that you've seen. Yeah, that I've seen. Hands um, down. Your closing comments here. I think it's the best identity that I've ever seen. Period. Um, I just want to touch on one thing. We've been saying that uh, the counter to this would be an R&D lock. Um, Caprice Nisi is coming out well before this identity, and that is something that you can't break. It's a 33% chance that you'll get into the yeah, to the, the R&D. So make those runs. Make them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think I'm going to have to agree with uh, Corpse here. This is the best Jinteki um, identity out of the current two. If Cronus Protocol comes in, I, I would be hard up to um, which one I would run out of uh, MedTech and Cronus. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's not even on the same level. I don't know. I, 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 I like, I like the Cronus uh, idea. I like the HB one better, but um, this one here is, is definitely a, an identity that I could get behind with Jinteki and put something together. And I do believe that this is the best identity you can run with Jinteki to go to a tournament with. This could, you could definitely see this at regionals. You could definitely see something like this running oh, at worlds. Yeah. And, and you will. And um, anybody who's been on the fence about running singularity, this will be the, this will be the time to do it. Cause oh. yeah, just going, Oh, you got three advancements singularity. Let's trash that before I yeah. get to it. So, uh, let us know what you guys think um, about MedTech in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.